Hi there, this video is looking at finding the gradient of a line between two points on the number plane. When we're asked to find the gradient of a line between two points on the number plane, we can use this formula below, gradient equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now we've seen in other videos there are other ways of finding the gradient. We check out the rise and the run and this formula here is based on that idea. The difference between two y values is the rise and the difference between two x values is how much the uh, the two points have run between the two. So uh, yep, let's have a look at this. Now we're going to just work from two points we're given. We aren't, being, we aren't able to uh, have a look at a diagram or anything at the moment but I'll compare it to how we might find the gradient from a diagram later on. So for now now let's just uh, answer this type of question. Find the gradient of the line between the point minus 3, 5 and the point 1, 2. So first off, because uh, we have x1s and y1s and x2s and y2s up there, let's label these points really carefully and that will give us the values that we need. Let's call point 1, uh, the, well the first point, point 1, that's pretty good, and the point 2 we'll call, uh, the second point there we'll call point 2 amazing stuff. <laughs> the x of point 1 is the first value there which we'll label and the y of point 1. We've got the x of point 2 and the y of point 2. So by labeling them early on in the question we don't have to look very hard to find the right values at the right times. Let's use those now to fill in our gradient formula. So we're first looking for a y2, a y value of point 2 which is that 2 off the, on the right hand side there. So we'll replace that y2 in our formula, or the second line of the formula anyway, with a 2 there. Now we're looking to subtract a y1. The y of point 1 is a 5, so we'll put the 5 in there. Then underneath here we have an x2, which is the x value of point 2, which is our 1. We'll replace that. Now here we have to be a little careful. We're subtracting whatever the the x value of point 1 is. Now the x value of point 1 is going to be a negative here. We'll have to be pretty careful. We'll have to make sure when we substitute this in here that we keep the subtraction from the formula and also put in that negative value that we had to put in in that spot. So we'll have to make sure that both those uh, parts go in there. Alright, so as we um, simplify this down a little further, 2 minus 5 is uh, is minus 3 but those two minuses will combine to be a plus on the bottom there we have to be really careful there so on the top we'll get that minus 3 I was jumping the gun a bit there 1 plus 3 it ends up being I know we had 1 minus minus 3 but that ends up being 1 plus 3 so we'll get a 4 on the bottom there so in the end we're able to find a gradient pretty uh, pretty straight away there by putting all the right x and y values into the right spots just on that second line of working put your formula up the top second line of working is where you substitute all the right numbers in the right spots. It helped a lot that we had already labeled the points in the right way down there before we kind of started. Now let's see how that compares to what we've actually done on the number line. If we had the points plotted here, we have one point, minus 3, 5 was our first point. Our second point was 1, 2. So let's see what we've actually achieved here by finding the gradient of the line between two points. Now slope's another name for gradient. Let's see the slope of this, how we can describe that. Now you'll see in other ways of doing this that we compare rise and and run. Gradient equals rise over run, you'll remember from your other work. So let's have a look. Gradient is minus 3 over 4 here. How does that pan out with our visuals here on our number plane? Well, that left hand side of a little triangle we could form here has, you can see it's got three units there. And uh, across the bottom there, let's have a look. The rise is 3, if you count the squares there, and the run is 4. So no surprise, we had a rise over run of 3 over 4 that we got from our two points, putting them into the formula. And uh, where did that minus come from? There's a minus in front of that three. You'll remember from your previous work that a line that leans to the left, we consider it to have a negative gradient. So uh, that answer we got, gradient of minus three over four, from when we just processed the x and y values of the points through the equation, the gradient formula, then um, that really uh, adds up, it, it makes sense with what we're seeing from the diagram here, a rise of 3 and a run of 4 and it leans to the left so it's got a minus there. So I'm hoping you can make the connections there. We've got a gradient of minus 3 over 4 from our, from, from our gradient um, formula and uh, that kind of makes sense when we compare it to the actual number plane too. 
Thanks for watching that. Hope that makes sense. Watch it again if you're not sure. PeterBlakeMaths.com is the place to go for all your maths video needs. See you next time.